Hey guys, today we are going to talk about why is journaling really important. So I'm gonna dive into later in this video what is it good for and uh, what you will learn from it, you know, what you will get out from it because when we start a new habit, it's really important to know what we are going to get out from it, what we have to expect, what are the challenges that we can face with and what are the benefits that we can get out from it. So I'm trying to get new things here as you, as you can see I'm trying to change the environment a little bit, I'm trying to get new close-ups, new spots. Maybe it's better to see the video this way because a lot of new things are in the background that you haven't seen and uh, it's a lot more interesting and a lot more fun this way, I believe, so I hope you like it. I'm going to buy a, a microphone to a little microphone so the sound quality is going to be better too i'm expecting for that so yeah let's dive into the video because i'm just wasting time so the first thing that journaling is good for is to clean up your head so you know our life is really complicated in this generation and sometimes we find ourselves feeling stuck in our head because we have so much going on we have so much thoughts that we can't control that we start to overthink a lot of things and uh, it can cause depression it can cause a lot of overthinking as i said because you can't figure out what what are your problems are and what are the things that you should fix right now and uh, it just it just complicated and, and i believe we all have this you know and when you start journaling you can actually see a lot of growth with it because you start to write down your thoughts and um, a lot of times we tend to overcomplicate our thoughts that is going on in our heads so when you write it down you can actually see through it and you can see the problems you can spot the problems more likely than if you're just thinking about it you know because it's so much easier when it's on a paper when your words from your head is on a paper it's so much easier for you to see the problem to see the actual problem and spot it and after that start to make plan to solve it you know so the second thing why journaling is good for you is that you can keep yourself accountable so I personally find it really helpful with journaling that you can write down your daily goals that you want to make happen or write down your daily schedule to your paper and maybe stick it onto your wall. It can help you with that. It can help you make yourself accountable because a lot of times we just wake up with no goals, no direction of what we should do in a daily basis. And in the end, we don't do anything because we don't have a direction to go for. So I really recommend you to pull out a paper and pencil and actually start to write down your daily goals that you want to do. This is also working with your phone you can set a notebook widget on your iphone and you can actually write your daily goals in there with the date on it or anything and uh, you can keep yourself accountable that way but for a lot of you want to reduce your screen time out there and that's why i recommend to just write it down to your journal you know this is so much easier because i just personally love the write the feeling of writing you know i personally love that and uh, i want to keep that so it's it's uh, so much so much easier and so much better if you just write it down it feels so much more organic this way and you will more likely to do it because we are spending so much time on our phone we tend to just not don't do that activity because we usually just waste our time on it so keep yourself accountable with journaling it's so helpful so another thing that uh, let me show you another thing that is really beneficial for you is to buy great quality notebooks i have three of them right now i bought it bought them from my local store each was like 15 bucks i believe so it's like not that cheap but not that uh, expensive too so i really recommend you to buy these like buy great quality notebooks that really so they, these are really nice to hold and uh, these are really great quality and so i just wanted to show this because you will so much more likely to write in them because they are good quality they're not cheap 
and they good to hold and you were so much more likely to actually sit down and write and start to write down your daily goals because because you're actually proud that you bought this so so it's like it just it's not that expensive thing but it will make a lot of impact on, uh, on your quality of journaling because you actually love to write in these notebooks you know and i really recommend you to check them out unfortunately i don't have links for this or anything but i just wanted to show them off because i really love these hopefully you have something like this on your store uh, on your roca store or something i believe you can buy similar to these so yeah buy great quality notebooks for journaling so i believe this is the fourth step that journaling is really good for is to actually you can see any day of your life you can you can just you know see every day uh, of your life of your past year or something uh, whenever you started journaling and you can look back of what your thoughts were and it's this is crucial this is crazy when when you start self-improvement or just want to improve your life and you start to write down your thoughts you will actually see what you were thinking about uh, on that year that you started self-improvement i actually have my first page that when i started journaling and also self-improvement and the amount of growth between those two thinking processes that i have today and i had uh, one or two years ago it's crazy like the simple thing that reading those words is motivating to me like it will motivate you too because you the most important thing in our life is to grow ourselves and when we see that process and we see that progress every single day we see that progress that we made over the years it's so much more motivating than any youtube videos that you will you will ever watch on youtube because it's your personal growth this is the thing that if you see someone personal growth is maybe motivating you and it's maybe like motivational and inspirational to you but your personal growth will, will be the biggest you will ever watch in your life and the simple fact that you are documenting it it's 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 really great it's a great feeling i really recommend you i really recommend you to start this because it not just helps solving your problems and uh, helping to get a stronger mental health or in overall but it actually can motivate you even, even like go through with your life because when you write down your thoughts it's so it's it's such a great feeling to just get the thoughts out from your head to a paper and actually see see it visually see your problems see your thoughts visually it's so much better than just thinking about it again this was the most important part that i started with journaling so when you start journaling and you are doing it for a couple of weeks what you will learn from it what are the expectations of your growth will be look like so when you are doing this for one or two weeks for a couple of weeks you will start to notice that you will get to know yourself better of course you can know yourself better by conversations and uh, speaking with other people but the, the thing is that there you cannot be 100 percent you like uh, it depends on the conversation the person that you are with uh, you not always end up with actually being your full you and uh, speaking the truth always and always but when you start journaling nobody will talk into your thing nobody will interrupt you and that's the beauty of it that you can actually be your full self because nobody will see it nobody will uh, read it only you and this is the beauty of it that you can actually start to know yourself so much better than before because knowing yourself to other people it's not a great thing sometimes it can go out wrong so it's really important to keep an eye on that and and please just be aware that sometimes a, a lot of people will mislead you and uh, they will not point you the right direction and that's why i, I recommend to start journey to start to know who you are first 
and after that start to search for the like-minded people, start to search for the people that you want to spend time with because you will not know what are the people who you search for if you don't know yourself first, if you don't know what your desires are. So yeah, this is just what I have learned in the past couple of years with friendships and stuff. Be better at thinking. So anything that, you, any problem that you will have later in life, this journey can help with thinking about it. I talked about this in the in the uh, last couple of minutes that you, with journaling, you can actually make plans, make day schedules and everything, but you can solve bigger problems, as I said, with uh, different tactics. I really recommend to read uh, The Millionaire Fast Lane because it actually covers really great tactics for solving big problems in life that uh, you actually don't want to figure out on your own and you can basically figure out it on, figure it out on your own with simple tactics. So it's, it's really simple and I love, love these tactics. Uh, because they are simple, straightforward and beneficial. I will actually pop up the, on the screen what it's called because I don't, I don't remember. But uh, with these tactics you can actually solve your problems so much more better and, um, and you don't have to rely on anybody in this case. Because sometimes a lot of people can mislead you too because they don't know what you want. And maybe you can't explain what you want either. So it's really great that you can solve your problems on your own. Of course, these are just decisions. Like if you have a bigger problem on your mental health or something, of course, uh, search for somebody that can help you. But um, when you have these little or bigger decisions, with this, this tactic, you can actually solve it. So it's just a quick reminder that use that tactic when you are journaling, if you have bigger or smaller decisions. So these were the things that I just wanted to cover. And I have a couple of questions that you may ask uh, yourself too, that I want to cover. That's what you should do to start journaling or what you should look out for. Uh, so the first thing that it may come into your mind that my loving journaling, I'm re I really love it. Like it's it's so fulfilling to do it. It's so fulfilling to do it, and the simple thought that no one else say it, only just me. It's really great. It's a I'm really grateful that I started it a couple of years ago, and you should start it too because it's so fulfilling to see your thoughts over and over again, day by day. And you know, sometimes we tend to forget that with this, we can actually see how many days we lived because a lot of times we tend to feel like uh, days are going by so fast. And with this, you can actually just remind yourself that the day was there, the day was actually there and you lived that day. And the progress that you have made is incredible. That you, the simple the fact that you lived that day is beautiful. So with that, you can start to remind yourself and it's very great. When will I stop journaling? This, this thing is, is forever like this skill is for the end like i'm i'm going to do it i'm going to do it till i die because this is the kind of skill that you want to ma master you want to master this skill for any situation in life and this is so great this is so great and i have to do it every single day so i will never stop doing it if you're really serious about this you have to do this for the end of the, your life but it's, just, it's okay to just do it for a year or something and maybe uh, for for your best year when you have great moments just capture that it's okay but uh, i believe this is the most beneficial if you're doing it for the rest of your life because you will just look back when you started like 15 years started as a 15 years old kid and you you can actually look back on any day of that year and see the progress that you made it's 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 really great it's crazy what you need to start you don't have to overcomplicate it you don't have to get this like you just have to pull out the paper and the pencil and just write write down your thoughts doesn't matter if you have like shiny books or something like that doesn't matter just write down your books it 
you can write it down even on your phone it doesn't matter bro just write down somewhere you where you can actually look back at it so it's it's just simple like that don't overcomplicate it just start because everything uh, will fall apart from that when you start something you, it feels scary you have to start it because you are going to stay at the same place and um, and you have to move out from it because if you don't you are not going to grow so you have to start it bro overcome your fears and start the thing that you told yourself you are going to do weeks or days from now start it don't waste your time because you can only live once if you have five to ten minutes on your day you should aim for every single day because it's really fulfilling for, from a couple of weeks from now if you start now if you start today a couple of weeks from now it will be really fulfilling to look back and um, to see your growth every single day all right i really wish you wrap it up here i really wish i could give you value with this video because i just want wanted to share what are my experiences with journaling and uh, why you should start it let me know in the comments what are you going to journal about if you start it and actually how much time you spend on it how much time you spend on your notebook and actually just write down your thoughts because it can be hour it can be it can just be 10 minutes, it can be one hour, two hours. Uh, I had a day when I spent, I spent six hours just journaling and writing down my thoughts and it was the most fulfilling thing ever. So let me in the comments what was the biggest time of your journal journey and see you in the next video. I hope I could give you value. Bye.